I was gonna live stream the sunrise, but apparently my channel doesn't have access to that. Apparently I'm not allowed to live stream. So maybe I'll just upload it. Can you see it coming? It doesn't look as bright on the phone. I'm currently laying on my military surplus sleeping bag next to the fire. Cause I'm cold. Cause of cold. And I can't do nothing until the sun comes up. So. I want you guys to see the sunrise. It looks like it's gonna come where I'm pointed it at. It looks like that's where the sun's gonna come from, but no guarantee that the sun will actually rise up over those trees, but we'll see. Very rough time sleeping last night. Sleeping in a confined sleeping bag is new. So I got tousled and turned. And at one point when that car showed up and just sat outside the campsite area just with the car running, I jumped up. And I was looking around and I was trying to get out of my sleeping bag, but I had it zipped all the way up to the face hole and it was turned backwards. And I'm 207, 210 pounds, something like that. Pretty de decent sized guy. So to get turned around inside that thing, I had to kind of reenact about an hour's worth of sleeping in order to get out of it just to see. And of course I shined a light over on the vehicle, but that didn't matter. They don't care. They didn't care. My phone makes it look pink. Fire got big. Oh, I can see the sun coming. Come home, baby. Bless us with your light. Bless us with the shine. Give us warmth, give us life. Let's turn this side of the earth on for the day, beautiful sun. Let's see what we can complete in the amount of time that you grace us. I think back a lot of times when I was in high school and in troubling times in my life, I have written poetry. And... 
I can imagine frontiersmen. <laughs> I can imagine them <laughs> seeing stuff. Like, they didn't have military surplus camping bags, and they weren't looking at little red and white bobbers that they found. They didn't have that. You know, so this sunrise, this fire, this water, these are the things that that they wrote about. They wrote about the animals and the fishes, all that pretty stuff. You know, and I, I sit here and I just look. Across the water, you can barely see the other side. You know, nothing else exists besides this moment right now. Nowhere else in the world is anything happening. There's no TVs on. There's no radios playing. To me, right here, right now, the only thing I'm waiting on is the sunrise. It's beautiful. That's something simple that we take for granted is sunrise. I'm patient while sitting here waiting for it, whether I'm recording it for you or not. I keep so much of the footage that I record because of the experiences and the fear of someday losing those experiences to bad health or an ill frame of mind that allows me to move farther and farther away from nature and where we come from. And as I was growing up, I didn't have somebody to give this to me. There are a few people that struck me in life in my in my past that took me fishing and done things for me to try to introduce me into the wild world, but nothing that compares to what I put myself through. I was freezing this morning. Now I'm okay. I know now in what ways to be prepared in order to not get cold. My choice in, in materials will change over time. I will, I will find new and better things. I would like to try all kinds of stuff. All kinds of gear, tools, sleeping materials, camping materials, uh, shelters. I don't have anywhere that I can just go build a bushcraft shelter. Like, I cannot participate in bushcraft. I can make spoons, and I can start fires, and I can do all the things in order to prepare to be a decent bushcraftman. But I don't have a land to call my own to express my creativity on when it comes to primitive building and and living I hope to someday have a piece of land that I can just do this I can go camp and I don't have to worry about people parking behind my tent running their little Hondas all night because that's what it sound like sound like a Honda that needed his muffler fixed that's what it sound like all night it was only an hour but it felt like all night because it was interrupting my sleep The sounds last night were cool. I heard a couple dogs howling. I don't think it was anything other than dogs. It sounded too domesticated. Like I said, I'm I'm pretty close to civilization. I'm not quite a rock throw. Only because it would hit a tree. But civilization is just right on the other side of these acre or two of woods. There's homes. I'm in the end of a subdivision. In a place called Ish Creek, I don't, I don't even I don't even know if you could camp here, but there's no camping signs. There are not any no camping signs, so you know, camp it up. There she comes. I have a left light to function at this point. My camera's not really showing it. There's a bat. 
I seen a bat nesting up for the night. Hard to get completely warmed up. You know, and there lies the problem with camping and wanting to do bushcraft is that I can camp and I can fish and I can chop wood and I can explore. But when it comes to practicing certain primitive building techniques, I don't think it is ideal to build any kind of structures on TWRA land. <sighs> so that's why I'm not just rummaging through the woods building stuff is because technically the land this direction that could all belong to somebody. I don't know if it belongs to this boat ramp area and I don't want to trespass. So We'll just enjoy the sunrise and hopefully YouTube will let me upload it from my phone because they won't let me live stream. I don't have enough subscribers and watch hours and stuff.
There's not going to be any edits in this because I'm going to upload it from the campsite. Greenwood on there and it'll make some really good coals that might last all day. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed the sunrise. I don't think it's actually going to hit right here, but I thought you might got you guys might enjoy just a little peek into what I'm doing this weekend. This is Sid Survival Guide, Chuck and Deuces.